And welcome back to NDI Central Live here at the South Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here at NAB 2018, and activity is brisk on this very first day of NAB. Uh, the halls are, are pretty packed. You know, one of the things we see a lot of here at NAB and really everywhere are digital displays, more and more digital displays uh, for information, for entertainment, for all sorts of things. And a very prominent player in the world of digital displays is a company called ANC. And we happen to have uh, the very own uh, Mark Strauss, Chief Technology Officer of ANC with us right now. And longtime friend of New Tech. Absolutely. <laughs> it's been about 30 years, but we're not going to focus on the 30 no, we're years. Not gonna we'll we're going to focus about that on later. the future. That's right. The future of video and with NDI. So first of all, Mark, before I, I don't mean to stop you so quickly, but tell us a little bit about uh, ANC. Well, ANC is about powering the experience. And what we do is we're an integrator. We're also a marketing. We're also, in addition to that, we're also a research and development company. Mm -hmm. And what we actually do is we actually create spectacle. We create the biggest events possible, and we figure out how to make those events occur. So we take technologies, new tech technologies, and other technologies, combine them into our own pri proprietary product, and from there we distribute content to many different forms of screens with different aspect ratios. So what's really nice is with combining all the different techs today, Rex, what we're able to do is create a decentralized smorgasbord of really cool things. And I'm really excited about NDI because of that. Wow. Well, uh, tell me about uh, the LiveSync platform. What is well, LiveSync has actually evolved out of vSoft, and vSoft is our premier system right now that's in the sporting venues. And we had to, for out of home, basically repurpose our tools. They're the same features, but some features are used just a tad differently in live event versus canned in out of home or in scheduled events. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, we discovered we are mixing live events up now with sporting events, with point of sale, with out of home, and we're starting to mix it all up. So suddenly, we're back in your booth because we need your tools because we're back in the live event business mm -hmm. as well as being in the can business. So when we're doing a show today, we have to think about not just the technologies, mm -hmm. but we have to now think about all the integrated partners we're going to bring to the show mm. because it's really about all of us. It's not really about me and my tool set. It's about the overall platform that you're putting into the stadium. Okay. So where, where would we have seen some of your display installations? Well, we're very proud of the World Trade Center. Obviously, mm. that's a destination site. Mm. Um, we've done Penn Station. I think we have some images, actually. Actually, we do. Uh, and then stuff. Fulton Train Station. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing um, an example of taking a public transportation place and actually augmenting it with storytelling capability. Mm -hmm. And as you can see on the video right now, um, what you're looking at is the way that we pre-visualize our projects. And then before we go to a client, we figure out exactly how we want the product to look like. And in addition to that, when you put anything into any um, place, you've got to figure out what is the audience. What do people really want to see the in that experience. space? And the experience. Mm -hmm. And going back to power of the experience, ANC is all about that, getting that experience right, making sure that with the power of our tech, we can actually move the needle of not just making an experience that's good for the viewer, but make a stakeholder experience that means the person can make money on whatever we've sold them. Now, how is uh, NDI impacting what you do? Well, NDI gives us this incredible bi-directional capability with streaming. It's the idea that now I can decentralize the streams. So the idea in the old days where you put cameras and wires, you have to feed everything back to a control room, well, that metaphor is going to go away. Soon, the cameras will have all the tech they need to start the stream. The stream can go anywhere in the world. The switcher can be anywhere in the world with your virtual IP technology. And we can be anywhere in the world with our technology to actually finally render it to the final destination. So this idea of decentralization, I think, is the future. In fact, not only do I think it's the future, but it economically makes sense. Interesting. And uh, so with all that, decentralization being a very important part of all that, what's the next step for ANC? Well, the next step with ANC is working with you at NewTek on some brand new tools. 
and we're really excited. We have some upcoming announcements in the fall that are going to be disruptive. And really, I'm here today as a teaser to say, New Tech and ANC are back in the business of disruption. <laughs> and I'm planning to be very disruptive <laughs> in the next few years. Uh-oh, look out. Well, that's, that's great. So um, I know we can't get into too many details, and I know this is something that's, that's being worked on. But how, how is what you're working on, do you think, is going to impact the display industry? I think it's going to impact it in a very big way because when decentralization takes root, it's the idea that you no longer have to look at displays and technologies linked. Mm. You can now look at the displays and technologies as a separate item because you now can design facilities around the displays, not facilities around the tech fitting. I see. And that's a very big paradigm shift. The other thing is investment mm -hmm. and how people are analytics and how people are going to work. With bi-directional communication with streams, it means that I can take analytics, I can look at what's going on in a venue and determine what content I need to display. Mm. And therefore I need in the content intelligence, I need bi-directional capabilities so that I can actually know what's going on with the feeds, I know where the feeds are in transit. And then finally, I have to provide security. One of the things I can tease everyone with is we're creating a web presence called the Citadel. And the Citadel is the idea of taking a point-to-point -point network under VPN and establishing a network anywhere, anytime you need it. Mm -hmm. But this network cannot be snooped by ISPs. This network protects the streams within it. And the idea for us is to create things that, for example, terrorists can't hack. Mm -hmm. Obviously, nothing can ever be hack-proof. But we do and can battle harden our systems to be more resilient. So one of the things that ANC is working on is how do you distribute content, keep it safe, make it easy, and then finally make our tools easy to use, that you don't need a rocket scientist to actually use the tools. And Andrew, um, um, Andrew Cross and I are working on that idea of ease of use because we realize that both of us, our tools have to be easier mm -hmm. because people don't have the time anymore to learn very big interfaces. They need to be able to get in and out. Mm -hmm. So in digital signage, I'm trying to create now systems that allow people to do complicated things in a very easy way. And yeah. it's a tall order. Yep. And so actually, it's on the cusp of artificial intelligence. So it's all about security, accessibility, and being able to update that information as quickly as possible with that feedback uh, basically from the viewer, from the from the customer, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, majority report has been the most overused metaphor in digital signage of where we're going. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, we're there. The truth is, we can now do that spooky idea that you're being followed and tracked wherever you go. It's what we do with it next that's important. I plan not to be spooky with it. <laughs> but what's important is tracking people is important, and NDI fits right into that. The cameras that I'm being shot on now are your own flavor of cameras. Mm -hmm. They're remote. They can track with me. Mm -hmm. You are building essentially the technologies to do all the majority report you know, analytics and tracking. But the truth is, with that, what do we do with it? I hope serve our customer better. Right. And that means end users will see refreshed content every time they see a sign. That means they don't get bored if they're commuting in the same location every day. Right. And what that ultimately means for us is all of us get to sell more wares. Very good. Well, we're very excited. Can't wait to see the, uh, this new technology being worked on right now. I am very excited, too, and <laughs> I want to see it come to fruition. <laughs> and where um, would someone visit you here at NAB? We do not show at the NAB mm -hmm. um, show, but we are all over the show. Okay. And if anyone would like to, if I may um, give them my email address, yeah. please email me, mstross at anc.com, mstross at anc.com, and I will be happy to, um, to look you up or to communicate with you. Okay, and of course, they can find out more about ANC at anc.com, correct? Correct. Very good. Well, Mark, thank you so much for thank joining you, us here at N NDI Central here in the New Tech booth. Lots going on here at NAB, so stick around. We'll have another guest coming up very shortly.